We're a month out from WrestleMania 31, and one of the biggest things that put WrestleMania 31 over the top of the heap was the big promo uh, with The Rock, Ronda Rousey, and the McMahons. It, it sort of has a, a fever for everybody wanting to see more from Ronda Rousey inside of a WWE. And you know what? Seeing The Rock inside of the ring is no slouch either. If you go back to the December of this year when The Rock showed up surprisingly on Monday Night Raw and did the big promo with Rusev, he did a promo uh, with Triple H uh, on SmackDown that week that was taped at Monday Night Raw, basically with The uh, Rock and Triple H trying to decide who was going to... Uh, uh, or where they were going to go out for dinner that night and it just turned into a macho beef fest uh, with both guys pretty much standing up to each other uh, challenging each other to a match without really challenging each other and basically setting the table for WrestleMania 32 saying the next time that they stepped into the ring there would be a hundred thousand screaming fans uh, cheering as these guys were beating the hell out of each other inside of the ring. Rock versus uh, Triple H is a match that I honestly would love to see. I think it's one of the biggest uh, rivalries um, in WWE history. I know a lot of people, when they think of The Rock, they think of Stone Cold Steve Austin. But honestly, to me, as my favorite wrestler being Triple H, I think of the rivalry between Triple H and The Rock as what built these guys up to being the big stars that they were, both coming into the WWF around the same time, challenging each other for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, you know, they, they fought over that title for, for a good long little while when they were strong mid-carters. Um, to the point where they were borderline or main eventers, which came to an end at uh, SummerSlam when they had the uh, big uh, ladder match, which was won by Triple H, and then Rock from there went on to win the uh, WWF Championship at uh, Survivor Series in the tournament, and then finally Triple H would take a little bit longer uh, to get to the, the top of the mountain at, at SummerSlam the next year. Um, and beating Mick Foley for the championship and then they would go on and have the big couple year run of uh, why, why The Rock was still there battling having main events for the WWF championship. Now Ronda Rousey being added to the uh, the mix um, a lot of people thinking that maybe at SummerSlam this year maybe at Wrestlemania next year we'd get to see some sort of a uh, intergender tag team match with uh, Rock and Rousey teaming up against the McMahons. Honestly, in my mind, the first thing that went into my mind is I wanted to see it. I wanted to, uh, you know, disband uh, disbelief, thinking that McMahons actually had a chance in this match, even though Stephanie would be coming into here, you know, uh, way undermanned. But then again, it could be just like Sting versus Triple H with DX uh, being uh, able to play a factor into the match, or, uh, you know, Triple H using the authority with Big Show, Kane, Seth Rollins, so on and so forth, maybe even J&J &J security, just outnumbering um, the people that were in the ring, because it just doesn't make sense to me how Stephanie McMahon, how I think she owns the ring, and uh, basically uh, she she is the, the, the person who runs the WWE, I guess you can say, but uh, she's not going to beat Ronda Rousey. She tried to step up and, and try to show her, um, you know, who was boss, but it seems to be the ultimate heel inside of this match is Dana White doing an interview with John Pollock. And uh, John brought up the fact of the rumors of Ronda Rousey uh, being a part of wrestling in WWE. And now the only thing that we can really hope is that Dana White is, is playing kayfabe because he has basically said that the Ronda Rousey appearance at WrestleMania 31 was a one-and-done situation. Uh, Ronda has recently signed a, a multi-match uh deal with UFC and that she's not going to be appearing for WWE anytime soon, not doing any appearances, uh, not doing any matches. Um, you know, Dana White is a businessman. He has to protect his investment and how stupid would it look for him running his business of UFC of loaning Ronda Rousey out, which, you know, she's going to make a great deal of money on. There's probably a, a way that Vince is going to give him a good deal of money for loaning him an investment like that. But how stupid is he going to look if Ronda gets into the ring and, and she blows out her knee and, and she's not able to, re uh, I'm sorry, she's not able to fight uh, for for UFC for, for a year or something like that. It, it, it's a bad situation. Ronda is a girl who fights uh, most years twice, maybe even sometimes three times. Ronda's never been one to turn down competition. I think that she would fight at least once a month if UFC would let her do it because she wants to be a fighting champion. She wants to be known as, as one of the best. And uh, 
Most importantly, Ronda Rousey is going to make all the money that she can. I mean, the UFC career is not going to last forever, and um, she she needs to make those uh, those things. Every every time there's a big Ronda Rousey fight that comes around, she's such um, above her competition that people are always looking for the underdog to beat her, to, just to maybe give the underdog a chance. Um, Ronda Rousey, I mean, she's done outside things. She's done WrestleMania. She did the Expendables. Um, she did. Um, she, she did another movie, but every time she comes back from a movie, people try to use that against her, basically saying that Rhonda uh, is doing too many outside interests. She was, you know, uh, doing plugs for the uh, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition that she was a part of, um, and people were using that against her. But uh, WWE is very smart to um, go out there and, and really brand themselves. Uh, this year was a, a real big thing for, for WWE and WrestleMania. WrestleMania had their highlights played on SportsCenter. Um, you know, they, they were, um, you know, sort of branding themselves with UFC. Um, you know, they, they, they're not really competition for UFC anymore. Uh, they're not on TV on the same nights anymore. There's no uh, WWE UFC war, they're, the WWE's they're on pay-per-view, but most people know to get the WWE Network, so they're not fighting for pay-per-view dollars anymore, especially with the WWE Network only being $10. Um, UFC fights come around, they're 50 to 60 bucks. You know, think about boxing, boxing's next big fight is on May 2nd. Mayweather versus Pacquiao, 100 bucks to order that one. But uh, as of right now, it looks like she's not going to be part of SummerSlam, not going to be part of WrestleMania. But the one thing I do know is that Ronda Rousey is a huge wrestling fan. And I think she, you know, got she got her first taste of what it's like being in the WWE. And I don't think she's going to be an everyday per, a person. I think that she is definitely a celebrity that's going to be there, you know, once every blue moon. You know, like Pete Rose showing up at WrestleMania or something like that, getting tombstoned by Kane. Um, I think that she is going to be a huge boom for WWE. So Triple H, Vince, whoever's doing this negotiating, whoever's you know slipping her that envelope full of cash at the end of the night. Definitely get the pull up to the table, try and work something out with Dana because I know there's a whole lot of people in, in WWE as well as UFC fans, as well as just flat out Ronda Rousey fans that are going to buy anything that she's a part of. Um, you know, they need to get her on the show. I, I, I'm not 100% sure they'll be on Mike Tyson, like boom, uh, with her coming in, but definitely it's something that people are going to talk about.